I am Detox, and I am gonna take you from this to this. Ooh. What inspired my look for the premiere party? Everything I do is very 80s inspired, business attire. I am gonna give you guys a few pointers on how you can achieve this look at home. It's very simple because I threw it together in 20 minutes. So let's see if I can do it again here. I am gonna start off with um, foundation and contouring. A lot of girls do cream contouring. I don't, I'm like old school. I do my foundation and I use all powders for contouring. So those of you who have learned how to do drag via YouTube tutorials by young bitches will now learn the old lady way to do it. <laughs> I'm not starting with powder, I'm starting with um, foundation. I'm not gonna tell you what foundation I use because I don't want you guys stealing my secrets. But it is um, a nice lightweight full coverage foundation. I also like to make sure I get it right into the, my eyeball because it feels really good. So I'm using a sponge. Sometimes I like to use um, like a foundation brush, but when I use this particular foundation, it kind of gets a little streaky, so I, I like the sponge a little bit more. Now, I have to set this foundation. I'm just using a full coverage pressed powder to set my foundation, but I only want to do it around the areas that really need the coverage. I don't like using this right underneath my eye area because it kind of gets a little cakey. Tips for making your everyday makeup into drag makeup. Chisel the shit out of your face. Use colors you wouldn't usually use. Make yourself look like a clown, but a pretty one. Now I'm gonna set and highlight with this loose powder. And we're done. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> All right, time to highlight. I just take my loose powder and go over the areas that need to be a little brighter. Doing makeup is a mess, and so am I. Now, doing this is basically just, um, not only just to highlight, but to catch any loose powder once I start doing my eye makeup. You use dark colors, you don't want it to get all over your face or else you end up looking like a Jackson Pollock painting. So from here, I'm gonna start contouring. And I take my good chisel brush and I load up that chisel brush and I just start chiseling. So what you wanna do when you're doing this is pretty much just build a face. Luckily I have naturally God-given beautiful cheekbones and features don't say anything. So I'm just accentuating those beautifully God-given natural features. I also, you don't have to do this when you're at home doing it, but I like to make faces in the mirror. Just because it helps me like fully realize and visualize the natural beauty that I have. And I'm contouring up here because I am a man and I have a receding hairline. And even though I'm gonna put a wig on that has bangs, I still have to do this step just because I feel right doing it. Most queens have to block out their eyebrows. Um, luckily for me, I don't have any because I'm fing lazy, so I shaved them off. <laughs> and even RuPaul recommends that in his book. If you're a full time queen, just go ahead and shave your brows off, bitch. So, I've contoured my cheeks, I've contoured my forehead, now it's time to contour my huge nose. I like to start down here because I have a very long nose, so I like to kind of cut it off here. I have a very interesting nose. I used to want to get a nose job, but after dealing with all of my father's issues the past few years, it reminds me of my dad, so I want to keep it now. So this, I'm just going in and re-highlighting areas because it's like super dark contour. I don't want it to be that dark. Once everything's finished, it kind of like disappears and blends in much more naturally. <clears throat> oh my God. 
And that's the worst part about doing drag and putting all this makeup on is you can never blow your nose. I'm just gonna go in and cut out these contoured areas with my highlight. And this is the um, portion of getting ready I like to call Lion King because I always look like Mufasa. On to the eyeballs. Now we've finished contouring, I'm gonna move on to my eyes and then we're gonna clean up the contour a little bit later. But right now I wanna focus on my eyeballs. The eyes that I am creating today are, it's pretty much like a solid blockout copper eye. It's really fun, it's kind of like disco, glam. So you guys can all do this at home, it's super easy. Right now I'm putting on an HD eyeshadow primer and this just holds the color that I'm gonna use all over my eye and makes it long lasting and makes the pigments stick out and make them true to color. This just grabs all of the pigment and gives you the best canvas to make a beautiful portrait on your eye. Luckily for me, I have beautiful eye space. I don't know if you can see all of that, all of that eye space. I can paint the Sistine Chapel on my eyelid. And the best part about um, A, not having eyebrows and this primer is you can pretty much make any shape of eye that you want. I like big, huge eyes just because I have big, beautiful eyes. Eyeshadow base is done. That is destroyed. I'm gonna make my eyes look even larger by using a white pencil and just in my inner lower eyelid, my tear line as I call it. Now people think that Bianca Del Rio created this look, but people have been doing this for years. All right, let's put some eyeshadow on this bitch. I'm gonna use a really beautiful gold iridescent highlight just underneath my brow bone. Oh my God. That is stunning. What I love about this is because it, um, it works well with every skin tone. Um, and it's just really simple and easy and it's, it's very blendable. Anytime I do my eyeshadow, I like to make sure everything is very blended. I'm not really a huge fan of very harsh lines in the eyes. And this kind of helps soften everything up. And I also use it as like an all over highlighter and shimmer, which I'll show you later to make myself look a little dewy instead of so matte and abrasive. So now we're gonna go on and start putting on my eyeshadow. This lovely, shimmery, kind of peach tone underneath my brow bone. I like to go for a more natural look, unlike some of my counterparts. So now that that's done, let's get really lazy. Oh, I forgot one brush, whatever. Now I'm gonna take another shade of brown. Oh my God, how do I do it, you guys? I don't know. Do you ever look at yourself in the mirror and just say, how the f do you do it? How do you stay gorgeous? We're gonna take this, I'm gonna just go into my crease. And as you can see, I'm very um, carefree when I do this. <laughs> okay, so there's that. There's that color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this copper onto my lid. This is, um, it's usually made for like glitter. It's kind of like a, like a glitter solvent for your lids or all over. Um, but it really just holds on to any kind of like loose pigment, glitter. This particular product that I'm about, this copper that I'm about to use, um, it's almost like gold leaf. So you have to mix it with something in order for it to get the full effect. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. Uh-oh, I need more solvent. 
See how it's flaking off there? You don't want that to happen. So that copper set, I'm gonna take another color. It's kind of like a, a gunmetal, like a rosy gunmetal color. I'm just gonna take that and kind of blend everything in. Now, I did not wear eyebrows at the premiere of season eight because I was running late. But it looked really good, so I'm not gonna do that today. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush all of this loose <laughs> off. And you see, that's why we, that's why we put that, all that loose powder down is so we can catch all of the random color that falls when we put our eyeshadow on. Oh my God, you guys, I'm stunning. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here with the same highlight that I used under my brow bone, that iridescent. I'm just gonna highlight under my eyes and just a little strip down my nose, buff it out. Let's go on to my eyeliner. I like to use a, uh, a waterproof liquid eyeliner on my eyes just because, you know, I cry a lot, I wear a lot of makeup all the time, often my eyes water um, due to allergies and whatnot, so I like to use a waterproof that way. I don't have to like deal with runny eyeliner all over the place. I like to use the same liquid liner on the top and bottom, because as I mentioned before, my eyes water. And here's a fun fact. I use the same kind of liquid liner um, on my lips for that look I did for the ballet on season five of Drag Race, and then we like changed into different looks, and I wore that crazy blue like mullet dress with the weird platinum hair, and I had that big teal lip. I used the same liquid liner on my lips for that. Also, when you're doing your makeup, try to buy new stuff so you don't run out of it while you're doing your makeup on a tutorial. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some mascara on. Now we're gonna go back to my expensive This is just a gold liquid liner that I like to put right here. Oh my God, you see how it did that? You see how it brightened that up right there? Oh, oh my God. You guys. Oh my God, you guys. These are my favorite lashes ever for my bottoms. All the girls ask me where I get them, and I'll tell you where I get them. Beep! No brand. But if you tweet me, and you ask me where I got those lashes, I won't tell you. Now, I like to use bonding glue. It's like weave glue. I like to use that for my lashes because A, it dries quickly. I don't have to sit around and wait for the lash glue to get tacky. And I can just throw it on. I'm just gonna put this glue all around the lash line. Oh my God, you guys, look at that lash. Oh. Am I out of frame? O. M. G. You guys, 301 Lashes, a girl's best friend. Usually I um, stack up my lashes. I wear about three or four pairs on top. Oh my God, do you see that lash? What are you gonna do about it? There's um, nothing in the world I hate more than girls who have lashes that do this. It makes you look like Dopey from Snow White and I don't wanna see a dopey drag queen. So when you put your lashes on, do me a favor, just do that. Now I'm gonna get put on some blush and put some color into my cheeks on top of that contour that I did earlier. So I like to use about four colors on my cheeks just cause I like groups. I always make faces, I don't know why. 
I think we all do that though. Every like, if you ever get ready with other girls, every bitch has a mirror face, and they're always the best. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that highlighting powder that I used earlier. Oh my god, how beautiful am I right now? All right, so I finished up my eyes. I've cleaned up the rest of my face and put on my blush. Don't I look beautiful? Say yes. Now it's time to do my Black & Decker Becker Records. The key to a good lip, in my opinion, is plastic surgery. If you can't get plastic surgery, overdraw the lip until you can afford plastic surgery. I'm using a nice satin finish lip liner. It's more, it's kind of like a liner and a lipstick in one, but it's super smooth. A lot of times lip liners have, are, are a little hard, their consistency, so they, they tend to drag along the skin and create uneven lines. This particular one does not, and that's probably why it costs $40. And even though I already have big lips, I kind of overdraw them just a little bit. Okay, so I've lined my lips, and now I'm gonna take my liquid lipstick. Uh -huh. Oh my god! You're beautiful! Who said that? Now that I have finished my beautiful mug, isn't it stunning? Everyone say how stunning it is. Now what I'm gonna do is put on my accessories and my wig. And when I say that I'm gonna put on my accessories, I'm gonna have someone come in and help me. Oh my God, you guys, it's Tracy Martell. Look at her. I'm so happy I went on Drag Race so I could help you put on your jewelry. Isn't that nice? How nice of you. Seven mile fair. You sound like a cow. <laughs> I picked this choker and these earrings for my look because I had a gold zipper on my skirt and they were what was the handiest. <laughs> you guys think I put a lot of effort into my drag. I really don't. I pretty much just like spray adhesive my body and roll around in other people's closets and that's how I walk out of the house. Now it's time to put on my wig. And as you can see, it's ugly. But I'm known for rocking really ugly hair and making it look great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wig and I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> and that's how you put a wig on. Oh my God, you guys. Look at me. When I have wigs like this, I mean, obviously this wig is pre-styled, so I don't really do anything with it besides throw it around in the garbage and make it bigger. And the more I do this, the better it looks, in my opinion. And there we have it. That is my look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see a little bit of the process in which I have to go through to entertain the masses. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Detox. Make sure you check us out on Logo! Bye! Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. <laughs>